Hi, my name is Rebecca Sackett. Uh, today I'm going to do a quick video on how to do multiple um, sorting options within the same gallery. So most people know how to sort the gallery, but um, I've done a few where I could actually change within the app uh, quickly what I want to sort by. And um, for people going from Excel to moving over to Power Apps, I've, I've really found that it helps a lot for that. Um, and then we'll do some where we can do multiple filtering options too, but I'm going to do that probably in a part two video because I'm going to try to stay under 10 minutes. So uh, what I did here, I have a really simple gallery uh, where I just went and put the fields across from a place that I already had some data in. Um, so far I haven't put anything on it in regards to um, filtering, sorting, um, what kind of order it's going to be in, any of that kind of stuff. So. Um, so what we're going to do is make it where you can sort by this here, which is my title field. It's called quote ID, customer name, division, or by lead source. These are going to be the options on our filter. And, and I'll change the color of this in a minute. I'll show you why it's like that. So what we're going to do is start first with putting an on visible where we're going to set what we want it to be. So uh, for the on visible of the screen, we're going to do update context and we're going to call it fair sort and title. So that means every time I come here, I want it to sort by title starting out and then they can change it if they want. Then we're going to go ahead and insert a couple of icons. I still been playing with what I like for the icon, but right now I'm just going to go with this one. What is that? 40 so we'll do 40 on that too so let's do 40 40 5 5 5, five. that works um, and then I'm going to change that to white and then probably need to go ahead and move this text over to account for it so we're going to put it to the right actually well you can do either way you can use the padding to move it I'm going to put it to the right, but then give it a maybe 15 padding. Try that. Uh, it has borders, so it makes it a little more obvious what um, where my box stops, I think. You can play with the design if you have different ways you want to do it. And for this, there's probably several different ways to do it. But this is the way I think is the easiest, and I like it. It's quick and it's easy. So, um, what we're going to do on this is whenever they select it, it's going to change that sorting order. So you want, uh, well this one's actually going to be the same as what it is on the, when you first come here. Uh, you want to make sure that this part here that's in the quotes is going to be exactly the same. It's not like where you're giving it a variable and you can just kind of name it whatever you want. You need it to be what exactly this is. So this one here, I would make it customer name. So I'm going to copy this put it here. I normally rename everything, but I'm not going to do that right now. So I want this to be exact. Whoop. Crazy with my mouse. And this one, division, I guess that's called it's division, yeah. one more for lead source. So that'll give us four different options. I feel like I need to move over some more. I have to make, let's do that one. Ten. Okay. You can worry about your design stuff. So um, now we've got the, uh, these that are going to change it. So now all we have to do is go to the gallery and put the sorting on it. So um, gallery is going to sort by columns. And then the column that I want it to sort by is going to be my variable. And Normally I do where it can be ascending or descending, but I'm just going to go ahead and do that. Okay, so we haven't set the variables. So we have to go away and come back. 
So now if we go through here and click, it is going to change what it's sorted by every time we click on it. Apparently that one didn't work, so let's look at it. Oh, I think it's a capital S. Oh, no, I, went, I got it way wrong. I didn't even notice that. Okay, let's try that one again. Okay, perfect. Uh, and the only other thing I like to do here, which is why I had that box a different color, is we're gonna go ahead and pick, pick what this fill is, and then pick what this one is, and say, if their sort is title, then I want it to be that dark color. If not, I want it to be a light color. And I'm gonna do the same thing on all the rest of these. Uh, fill, and this one was customer name. terrible memory. That's why I copy and paste so much. Uh, this one is division. I think that one's pretty hard to get wrong. And lastly, this one here. Let's go ahead and fill light source. Alright, and then I'm going to go ahead and put this one, I don't have any fill options on it. I'm gonna just, I think that's the same color, yeah. Okay, let's try it again. So we have the quote ID, we have the customer name, then we have the division, and then we have the lead source. So that way it's kind of letting them go across and change however they want it sorted. So uh, that's pretty much it. I have uh, this one here. This is kind of how I did on my design. I um, had it sort by several things. I got some just kind of fake data in here. And the next one I'm going to show how to do this where you can do the multiple filtering options. But um, I just, I try to keep these under about 10 minutes. So I'm going to wrap this one up and then I'll do the next one shortly. Thanks.